generation needs a revolution, Jimmy. The American dream is just that. Just the dream. War is a continuation of politics. Only by other means. Politics is a continuation of economics by other means. This is our bank. This is our war. And this is our plan of attack. Banks have become an essential threat to our democracy. So consider this justice. Thank you for listening to Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, the number one listener-supported radio station on the Internet. Please help support this station so this battle can continue forward. Revolution Radio! The opinions expressed on this radio station, its programs, and its website by the hosts, guests, and call-in listeners or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. They do not necessarily represent the opinions of Revolution Radio and FreedomSlips.com, its staff, or affiliates. You're listening to Revolution Radio, FreedomSlips.com, 100% listener-supported radio, and now we return you to your host. Barbara Jean Lindsay is an internationally acclaimed psychic, spiritual healer, author, and founder of the online mystery school, Esoteric University. As the cosmic oracle, she is a conduit to the powers that be to answer your questions about your future self, past lives, current career, love. She shines light into the darkness to illuminate what was what may be, and beyond. The readings and advice given by Barbara Jean Lindsay are for entertainment purposes only, should not take the place of any medical, legal, or financial advice given to you by a qualified professional, and are not a substitute for medical, legal, or financial advice. If you need a doctor, call a doctor. If you need to be expanded, call the Cosmic Oracle. Thank you. It's Barbara Jean Lindsay, and you're listening to the Cosmic Oracle Show. Welcome, welcome. It's Friday. It's all day. (laughs) Friday, February 2nd, 2018. And uh, I'm coming to you live from Folsom, California. You know, I've been listening to a little Johnny Cash. My dad was a big fan of Johnny Cash. He dressed all in black, you know, for his uh, support of the the prisoners in the in the Folsom prison and so I I, you know I drove by there yesterday and I just went wow and you know kind of gave a like a hello to my dad and to Johnny Cash and to all those uh, people in those prisons there. Wow. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm in Folsom, California. There are some good aspects here in Folsom too. They have some great hiking trails and been taking my dogs out hiking. So very slowly, you know, I'm built for comfort, not for speed. So that's what I've been doing here in Northern California. It's been beautiful out today. And and so we want to thank you for listening here at the Cosmic Oracle Show. We're on every Friday, uh, live uh, every Friday from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. And you can go to freedomslips.com and find us in Studio B every Friday. So thank you for listening to Revolution Radio. We are the largest internet radio station in the world that is a 100% listener-supported station. So that means that we are here thanks to you and your generous support in the past, and we're looking forward to being on the air and for many years to come, 2018, and uh, we're here only by your generosity and uh, thanks to you for your donations because no one gets paid a dime here for everything we do. It's all volunteer and you can be assured that every dollar you donate goes directly into keeping this station on the air as we were all volunteers and that means no one gets paid for their services. So you, the listeners are a major part of our continued success at getting the truth out here on Revolution Radio. So if you would like to keep us on the air, go to our website, 
or our homepage if you're already there at freedomslips.com. Click on that funding button and give whatever you can afford. No amount is too small or too large, and we truly appreciate your continued support. So there you have it. So if on, let's see, how do I say this? We have a new phone number. I'm hoping it works. Okay, we'll give it a try. I Before I give you that number, I wanna thank um, my producer, Patrick English, who's been producing uh, the show for three years. This is on our fourth year now on Revolution Radio. And Patrick was there from the very beginning all the way through. So I'm trying this on my own, producing my own. So uh, he's given me a lot of uh, pointers and on mad painter has two and so we're gonna see uh okay barbara's gonna do this okay i got it handled so you can call in and so i have a new skype number that you can call into and that is 626-470-3144 that's skype number 626-470-3144 or you can find me on Skype also at Barbara Jean Lindsay, the Cosmic Oracle. So that's what's up. And what we do is here is I do lots of psychic readings. So I have a couple people I've been talking to before the show who want to come on, find out what they're doing, what they're up to, and, and get a psychic reading from me. I've been a professional psychic uh, since a near-death experience for about... Uh, 30 years now, so I've done thousands and thousands of readings. Uh, the readings this week I've been doing, most of them are on people's transformation, where they want to change how they look, how they uh, perceive life. They're really into change and what and letting go of what doesn't serve them and really walking into a new them, like a future self. And uh, a few of the ladies I just talked to yesterday uh, were real inspiring because uh, one lady said uh, that she was just tired, sick and tired of being fat. She didn't want to be fat anymore. She was over it. And so uh, she started uh, a diet called uh, Snake, Snake, the Snake Diet. I think it's called the Snake Diet. And I checked it out. It's pretty cool. So I'm hoping I want to get, um, oh, I see his name, um, Cole, uh, who started it on the show to talk to you about it. It's kind of neat. I think you'll like it. So hopefully we can get him on pretty soon to talk about the snake diet. You can look it up on YouTube. It's pretty cool. I like the way he starts out. He goes, hey, fatty. And so it's kind of like, you know, it's a reality check. You know, if you don't like where you're at now, you're going to have to change some things up to get some new results. And so uh, he's all into that. And so a lot of my calls this week have been on uh, change and transformation and uh, getting their first love life for the first time, really having, they got their career in track, they've got their finances in track, and the only thing they're missing is a love life. And we talk about how to go about incorporating that in their lives. And so I think I've talked about that on the show before. So it's about transformation. It's about changing things up. And, uh, you know, and when you do that, it can be really uncomfortable too. And so that's part of it, but it's not forever. You know, once you start, it's, it's tough. First, you make up your mind and then you start to take the action. And then some energy comes to tell you to stop it or not to do it or, you know, it's someone's birthday party or wedding and you have to eat, you know, and so so it's about uh, having that determination and will. And, you know, what I found over the years is that it helps having a support group so that you don't have to do it all alone and uh, feel isolated and, you know, like the whole world's against you or you have to do it, carry those, you know, carry all those uh bricks and burdens uh with you you can let go and you know have some friends help carry you um so so it's a it's a good thing so if you're looking at those sorts of things you're right on the pulse of all the people i've been talking to and giving readings to this week and if you want to call in um, sometimes it helps to get some support as a psychic um 
I'll just take a look at what your problem or issue or question is, and then we'll look into it and see if we can help you. My answer is not to give you your answers, but to open the doors of, of what's available, and then you get to you know decide what works for you and what doesn't, and where you want to put your energy. So that's what's going on here today. And uh, let's see, I was looking, we have uh, Lauren Kurth will be uh, an interview with her. Lauren Kurth is in Australia. It's not today, it's coming up. I have the date, but I can't find it. It's in, uh, uh, let's see, I think it's in, oh, I don't remember. I think it's February 16th, but I don't remember. I think I'm pretty sure it's February 16th. You know, I'm not having a senior moment. Yes, it will be next Friday, the 16th. We will have uh, on the Cosmic Oracle show, Lauren Kurth. And uh, she's going to be talking about her UFO and ET experiences since she was four or five years old. She runs a CE5 group and protocols where people come together, share their experiences, and she helps facilitate this as they observe the evening skies and raise their frequency and open their hearts and stay grounded and um, check for contact in a sky watch uh, um, a sky watch what would you call it a sky watch gathering so she's been doing it for a long time and i thought you would really like her i find her story uh very inspiring and she seems like a really amazing lady so that's lauren kurth and uh, you can find her on facebook that's lauren l-a-u-r-e-n-k-u-r-t-h in australia so check her out and she's on youtube as well so also anything you hear today you want to hear it again check out our archives become a member okay so you can uh have recordings of all the shows that we're doing here and i'm looking for aha uh -huh, how we usually start out the show is i pull a tarot card from my favorite deck um it's called the Druid Craft Tarot, and I asked for uh, guidance for uh, today's show. And I, and you know, I have pulled this card before, and I found that working with the tarot, like when I was going through a really intense divorce, that I would pull this card, like the Nine of Swords, like forever and ever. And I would pick the Three of Swords, too, like forever too and I didn't think I was ever going to get out of there you know I'm stuck so I felt really stuck and and uh in the three of swords it's uh um where it's about uh where a heartache can come healing and the maturing of our ability to love and that the three foundations of learning is uh through the druid uh triad of teaching is uh seeing much studying much and suffering much so i was in a lot of suffering when i was going through my divorce and so what happens if you can approach uh suffering uh in a way that it's a potential for true growth and transformation since we're kind of talking about that today that uh, you can learn and grow from conflicts and difficulties rather than feeling victimized by them. And so I think that's when my stubbornness and my, I just, you know, went down really deep and picked myself up out of the pits with uh, some help from some friends and guides and pulled myself out of that. And that's when I always got the three of swords. But today, uh, the show on today's show, the Cosmic Oracle show, I picked the world card and that's number 21 and it signifies some key words for 21 of today's show is and you're a part of it all you listeners even those you're listening now all those listeners that like to listen later when they're cleaning the house or walking the dog or or uh, at work i have a lot of people who turn on the show from the archives at work especially Jeannie. there's a shout out to Jeannie and her her housekeeping business so i know that she listens um to the show uh much later through the archives so this card today is completion fulfillment success abundance achievement ecstasy union of inner and outer life so that sounds pretty cool 
I'm, you know, that I've, I'm going to have some of that. And so it also, uh, the figure in this card is radiant, uh, particularly around the head, suggesting the illumination and ecstasy described in ancient Irish text as fire in the head. And I, I don't think Christine will be okay. Christine and I were uh, working together, and Christine has a show here on Cosmic, or uh, I mean, on Revolution Radio on every Wednesday at noon. It's called uh, Kiss Me, I'm Psychic. And she's an amazing psychic and gifted healer and teacher. And and uh, we were talking, and I we were exchanging readings because that's what we do, you know. And um, in the reading for her, I actually saw you know, for the first time in a long time, I've seen only a couple times after thousands of readings where she had that illumination around her head on the, on when I'm looking at her on the inner, that she actually had that uh, ecstasy described in uh, ancient Irish text as fire in the head. And that was like, you know, when you see the, um, the old, uh, paintings, the Renaissance paintings, and you'll see that gold aura around their head. And that's someone who can resonate up in those upper chakras and those uh, other alternative dimensions, you know, from third degree on and upward, you know, and out. So, uh, so that was pretty cool to see that. So, um, so this card is the dancer knows she's complete. And if you find this card in a reading, it indicates great success and a sense of deep and satisfying fulfillment. A cycle has completed itself and there is that pleasing sense of completion combined with the joy of achievement and of feeling on top of the world. So it's a pretty cool card. I'm happy to get it. Uh, I've been through, you know, some stuff and things and not so nice things and some, you know, some really things that I wouldn't have wanted to go through. But coming out of it, um, you know, I'm still dancing and I'm life and I'm whole and I'm one. And that's the message of today's card, the world, the world. That's my friend says, just have a cup of coffee and, you know, Heal the world while you're doing it, and no one will get in trouble. And she's really cool, and that's to my friend Mika. And so so that's our card for the day. And then my next thing I've been doing, and I hope you like it, is um, I go to uh, the crystal of the day. And uh, I, the one that I liked today was, you know how I get, you just get called to something, is... Um, this one is more of a, oh, I don't know what you would call it. Probably, uh, I, I think it was, uh, here it is, the chestnut jasper stone. So, again, we're kind of getting to those orangey or redder stones. And uh, the chestnut jasper, jasper or a stone. And it's a large, um, um, can be a large stone. It has a... It can have smooth edges, but let's see what it says. Uh, Jasper is a seeker transformer crystal. And seeker transformers are talismans used when the desire is to find a way to transform a part of one's life to a more desirable state. Well, how's that? Because that's what we were talking about. You know, we're right on with that. So if you're looking at uh, lifting yourself up out of where you are or moving forward into unknown territory, you can have your friends and you can do the things that help you, but also you can call on crystals to help you. And this particular one, this jasper is just really beautiful. It's chestnut jasper. And um, seekers are used when we need some help to find a new path, a new approach, or in any quest to gain that which we desire but do not yet possess. So agates are often small and usually polished, and they're absolutely perfect for personal talismans. So they're easy to carry in one's pocket or purse, and they're hard and durable. And they're brightly colored ones like this scarlet, it's scarlet, but it's more orange would work best. So it says they're more red. Red crystals are used when the situation needs passion, 
So if you need to get active, you need to get involved, you need some energetic action, red empowers, uplifts, and engulfs, and it cures apathy. Hey, I need some of that. More, it gets things done. So call on your uh, just chestnut jasper or a stone and you can get that online at all the different stores um, i happen to like crystalvaults.com but you can also you know go to your uh your new uh you know your local uh new age store i talked with someone this week and and you know she was a little younger and and uh giving her a reading and she said she didn't know what a new age store is so i thought that was so we kind of talked about it you know what what is a new age store and so you know my brief uh summary was uh that it's a store that has it's for healing and for me uh, when I lived in the city and I couldn't get to a park or something more natural, just going into a new age store, I got a healing. You know, I didn't have to talk to anybody if I didn't want to, but the energy is set there for healing. Most of them, of course, have your discernment in wherever you go or whatever you do. But um, um, you go in and they have incense usually burning. They have uh, psychics there. You know, my favorite store of all is in Santa Cruz, in Capitola now since they moved in Avalon Visions. And you just go in there and they have books and uh, clothes and a lot of crystals and stones. And usually the owners are really in tuned and have a lot of knowledge to impart. So if you have any questions, they're like, they're like right there to give you some answers. And if they don't have them for you, they'll go find them the answers for you. So it's a really cool place to just go kind of where you, for me, I would go there, you know, to, uh, to feel safe sometimes just to just let go that it was a safe place where I could kind of let my org field kind of down and, and not have all my shields up, you know, when I'm out in the public. And so, um, so it's a it's a good place to go is the your local uh, new age store, so so those are our, that's our crystal and our book and I hope you like the way this is moving. We'll try and do that once a week um, unless we have speakers and then I won't. So uh, call in for readings. I know I have some people who are going to be calling in and I think I got it down to do it and I hope everyone's hearing me and. Uh, you know, so uh, I think we, I think it's all go ahead. So I thought I would tell you a little bit before we go into some, I have some ideas for today's show. Of course, I get uh, ideas in meditation and um, uh, how I'm going to work it. So, um, okay, so what do I, okay, so before I do that, um, it's right here. Okay, here it is. Okay, I found this amazing quote. And so today, I was more earthy today. I felt like um, I wanted to be in nature or in more on the earth zone, more on the our earth planet zone, uh, the third dimension. I wanted to be grounded, okay? I wanted to just immerse myself in that. And so... Um, and be in a, a meditative state, you know, and I went for a long walk. And sometimes for people that I've done readings for, they don't like to meditate, but they can walk as a meditation. So I did that today. I, I walked for an hour with my uh, daughter's little dog, uh, Vienna, and uh, and I did a meditation. And in the meditation, um, I started to just kind of go deep within myself. And when I got back, I was starting to look up some information for the show and I came across this quote and I, for me, it just really resonated. So I would like to share that with you. Oh, and we have our first call. I, hi, Sean. Hi, hi, John, Sean. Hello. Yes, you're on. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> You mean I'm on right now? Yes, you are. Jean Baptiste. Is am I yeah. saying that correctly? Correct. Uh, Jean okay. Paul Baptiste. Jean Paul, that's right. Jean Paul Baptiste. Welcome to the show, Jean Paul. Well, you're gonna you're gonna like this quote. 
okay? I'm going to give it to you and to all of our listeners. And I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. Since okay. You're a spiritual teacher. So you have to look deeper, way below the, way below the anger, the hurt, the hate, the jealousy, the self-pity, way down deeper where the dreams lie, son. Find your dream. It's the pursuit of the dream that heals you. And that was written in Lakota in 1938 by Billy Mills' father, who is o Oglala Lakota. And that was in 1938, and it just really resonated to me today. Oh, that's beautiful. That's such a beautiful uh, passage. It is, isn't it? Because we can get stuck in all of our stuff, can't we? Oh, all the time. <laughs> You know that it's you know it's a not it's an ongoing game. It is, it is. So, what have you been up to? It's been a while since we talked. What would you like to talk to our listeners about today? Oh, gee, whiz, where do I begin? Uh, first of all, I'm I'm from uh, Canada. I'm from Saskatchewan. I'm a I'm a Cree native. I'm a shaman. Uh, this briefly about me is that I I was um, I was hidden. From the system that controls us, as you know, um, mm -hmm. but I was hidden, and then I, I found my heart. I reached it by lessons. Then once I reached it, I uh, I just remembered who I was, you know, mm -hmm. just, um, by being who I am, by the love. And mm -hmm. I just remembered, you know, that I'm a shaman. I'm, you know, I'm all these uh, people from the past, you know, and I'm here and I have all my gifts. Uh, I can say that I'm a ascended master because i am because mm -hmm. you have to be uh you know i did it uh, i did this you have to um plan your lifetimes out and once you do that you awaken you ascend mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. this so but i did it once already you see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's why i can say this so i am uh, yeah this uh synchronicity i'm in florida right now oh you are so what are you doing in florida well um spirit has me uh, finding the people that I need to uh, help, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now I know um, you know there's you know as soon as you say that you know people think oh the ego you know I don't need no help or you know <laughs> or there's you know or yeah or, or I just find my own help, right? You know? Right. But but you know what though there are people that are that help you know there's your higher self that helps mm -hmm. okay there's you know angelic realms that help right right. And spirit yeah, guides so you, and ancestors. Yeah. All you have to do is ask, right? That's yeah. the, you, that's what I found out is all you have to do is ask. And I forget, I would forget to ask. Really, all you have to yes. do is take a moment right now. Something's bothering you and ask. Say, I need some yes. help right now. I can't carry this burden anymore. I just really need yes. some help. And gosh, it's amazing that help shows up in ways that you can't even imagine. Oh. That's the good news, you know. It's. Yeah. I know you've had some wild rides with that. Can you tell uh, us a story about something like that? Because I remember. Oh, I oh I don't know. Like like uh, since I've been here, uh, you know, I've been like sometimes I'll be you know on the beach and I would I would see somebody and it would just be you know synchronicity, and there's you know by Sarasota there's so many you know uh, gee whiz like every second person is a uh, is is gifted. And they know it, you know, you can go up there and talk to them about stuff. And, but, um, uh, uh, actually this happened to me more than once, mm. obviously for, you know, and then I, you know, I met this one lady, she was, um, uh, I'm a seer, so I can see, you know, I can see, uh, who she is, you know, and, mm -hmm. but it takes time because, you know, um, for how I do, how I do my, uh, my modalities are with the heart. So what I do is that I connect with my heart. Mm -hmm. right. And how, like, how do you do that, Jean Paul? Let's say for people that are just getting into this, if you know, for us that have been doing this for a while, when you say connect to your heart, it's like automatic. But how about people who, who've never really done that before? How do you, what process do you take them? Do you take them through it, or it's just an organic process that, that you know, is naturally there with them if they ask for it? Or how do, how do you work with them on opening their heart? Oh, my God. Oh, first of all, what I do is I, I clear that, okay? I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I only, uh, I only deal with the spirit. So, okay, so the heart is there, okay? Mm -hmm. we, we see the heart, 
okay, around it, you know, it's always sacred. Now, people think that, oh, my God, I have, a, you know, uh, something deep in my heart. No, you know, it's, it's you know, on, on, a, on a physical plane, on a, di- on a higher dimension, you know, it's sacred. It can never be messed with. Mm. Okay, that's, that's, a, no, that's a big lesson that humanity has to understand. That's huge. Right. I don't think I've ever heard it said like that before. You know, you know how where it can be simple but so profound at the same time. We always want to make <laughs> things difficult. You know, yes. we want to make something that's simply and beautiful. You know, like fine art that we just want to, you know, make it difficult. So, can you say that again? What you just said, I think it's important. Okay, the heart. You know, on a on a higher dimension, right? It is. Uh, well, it's it's a merkaba, ball, right? Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, it is a uh, sacred geometry, right? You know, if you if you can, if you can see it, because I because I, I see it, because you know, actually this recently, so it's always been sacred. It, it will always be, okay? You know, the, the, you know, it's the words that you know that you know, get us down. And of course, you know, we know about that programming now. We have we have so much, um, you know, uh, as a conscious level, you know, we we evolved, you know, as mm-hmm. you know, because I, I can I can see it and feel it, you know, because you know, because because you know, part of me. Is connected to with everybody, and it's true, you know, because mm-hmm. my heart is connected to all the hearts in the world. Yeah, whoop whoop, my heart says hello. <laughs> <laughs> you got mail, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but you know, but that's that's how that's you know that's that's you know that's my walk. That's who I I remember, you know, and that's so I can connect to the people. You know, I can you know if you're there, yeah. There is um, initiation too. But then there is uh, there is also free will, right? And there is source mm-hmm. will, right? So I can Ooh, you know I talk can... talk the difference between those two, please. Okay, source will is well. There's okay. Well, there is will, correct? Mm-hmm. Just will, you know, mm-hmm. on this level. Yeah. Right? It can get you to a certain degree. It can get you to yes. a certain point. Yeah. Yeah. You can scratch your head and like I said, I I have will to. To, um, Jump over that fire. <laughs> correct, correct, right? You know, and mm-hmm. it, yeah, and the, the, the words, you know, don't, don't don't let the words, you know, pull you and stuff. You know, try to, but you know, this is my my interpretation of it. Yeah, I love now, it. And then there is there is uh, and there is source will that is beyond all all of them because it's it's that source, mm-hmm. right? Because you know, I I'm a seer of source now, so I can see the source. Right. Right. Before I was, uh, I was a seer of antiquity. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know, the seer of old. Right. Mm-hmm. That's who I was before. But then, since I, you know, I did these completions, which, which uh, you're talking about in the cards. Uh huh. Well, and I was doing these missions. You know, uh, they were like totally unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I just, I just grew. You know, my yeah. heart, heart space grew. The frequency increased. You know, and then, yeah, it was just, and, you know, this is all love, right? This is, you know. Yeah, uh, that's what it's all about. uh, You know, the experience. Yeah, you have the experience. Then all of a sudden, once you understand it, you create love, you know, that it it, uh, transmutes into love. And then that's how you grow. Yeah, and people can feel that and they're attracted to that. When they see you, like out in the public, you're just walking around, minding your own business, and boom, right? People come up to you. Uh, what is it that you do? Or there's something about you. I'm not quite sure what it is. Or yes. they will tell you, like, their deepest, darkest secrets, you know? And and you don't know this person from Adam, and, and then, you know, they're gone. But it's, it's kind of, it goes with all of that, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, you know that's that. You're you're looking at the um, initiation part of it all, ah, right? Because that's what it is too. You know, and that's that. That's the initiation where, yeah, you know, a person standing there, and, you know, they they look at me, they go, okay, and then you know, I can see it in their eyes. They say yes, okay, or their higher self says yes, mm-hmm. and then right there, well, once I know, once I have that, you know, yeah, and then I'm, you know, I, I'm connected. I'm clearing them. I'm blasting them because I do. I'm a high frequency. Heart, because that's what I am. I'm just a walking yeah. heart. I'm a heart. I'm a heart you heart, are. Heart that's how. That's how I. I didn't know there was such a thing called a heart walker. I think I'm a heart walker. Am I a heart walker? I think I am. Mm, but maybe that's a not. very good question. 
Uh, no, because you know how I am with the heart. It's all about the heart. So it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's you know, it's it's been like I said, it, it's been uh, quite amazing. You know, um, so okay, so 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 we so that's the will. Okay, that's that's okay. the will. Uh huh. Right. And uh, how uh, how I connect to the people, I it's ancient knowledge, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, once, once I is it a, like a native uh, a native American Indian knowledge, or from your ancestors, or were you mentored into this, or it's something that you picked up? Oh, I remembered. Oh, okay. I remembered, and yes, okay. there, there is lineage. There is because I'm Cree. So oh. yes, there is there is lineage. If I can go all the way back for for a long time, and then that's where I was the, you know, uh, the Cree shaman. Chief. I see. Okay. Right. You know. And the, yeah. But I was yeah. Many, I, but that was many shamans. You know, mm-hmm. I lived. I live all all over North America. Mm-hmm. You know, incarnated all over North America. So that's why I have. You know, that's another thing about the whole thing is that, yeah, you know, when you do, when I do grid work, you have to have uh, lineage locally, right? Okay, so, so you, like for, let's, if you go to, let's say you go to Washington, or uh, Washington, Oregon, they have a lineage there that you get in tune with and ancestry there. Is that what you're, am I? Yes, right? and actually, yeah, and I, I actually been there and I oh. did that because they have a, they have a, a womb chakra. Right, that is, uh, you know, uh, Pendleton. If you go, if you go south, to hold it. Uh, if you go straight south, uh huh. Um, that's where it is. Okay, no. Right, we're... and I did not know. I'm I think we a... talked. We talked about this a little yes, bit. I remember yes, talking yes, about way, yes, we... way back. So, oh yeah, tell. It's a great story. I remember this story uh, yes. uh, about you talking about what happened there. Oh yeah, please share it with everyone. Okay, so fine. <laughs> you I know what to do. Yeah. You were just gonna come and hang out and have fun, and I'm putting you to work. You know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. But I, I love the energy, though. You know, and I love you. You have a beautiful heart. <laughs> so, so make a long story short. Um, I was sent to. Well, it was just all synchronicity. So I went to uh, the Snatch States because I have my my two sisters and my my late brother. So they. Uh, they they were from a reserve, right? There's Pendleton. I I forgot the reserve name, and there is uh, Lapway. So I went to see Lapway. I got my nephew to drive me to Pendleton, where I stayed there. And you know, I was I knew it was going to be a hard you know hard journey, but I I had to do it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, had very little money, but I did it anyways because I knew I had to do it. It had to, you know they told me I have to go. You have to go. And, you know, I have lots of um, ancestors with me. I have lots of grandmothers and grandfathers. I have a large, a very, very large amount. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you can see them all too. You know, they, you know, you'll see them all. So, so uh, one day, um, you know, and what I do, I scan, I scan the land, right? You know, because I, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a master healer, but, but it's the land, right? I'm, I'm here for the land. And, right, and I, right. I always, I always say the people are icing on the cake because, <laughs> because you can't, yeah, it, it, it does help when you, when I say this, because you know how people <laughs> are, <laughs> you know that, you know, exactly yes, I, I do, I do, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, we, we, we love everybody. I know that. Yes. So, yes. So, so I was, uh, so, I, so I was there. Okay, I was there, and uh, so what I do, I scan the land, I, you know, because I, because the land, once you, once you, you know, once I sleep somewhere, yeah, I insert myself locally in the into the land. From from there, um, it tells me where where it's hurting, you know. Mm-hmm. And and I went there. I I first of all said that's a that's a, a sacred site over there, you know. I was pointing. Uh, there's uh, if you go south from that position, it's flat. All of a sudden, the mountain mm-hmm. the mountains show up. Oh, can so, can I in, interrupt you just for a moment? When no, you're talking, is, you know, there seems quite amazing because I was there. There seems what to happened, be some, what, uh, Jean. There seems to be some. Um, either you're moving, and I can hear um, some uh, wind like um, behind you. There, it stopped. Okay, how's that? Oh, so much better. Okay, okay. continue. Thank you. Okay. That's okay. me being a producer. Okay, so, hey, that's new for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
How's that? That's better? Yes, so much better. Thank you. Okay, so continuing on with my Okay, continuing on with my story. So um I knew it was there. Okay. There's uh this was in I think this is uh, this is July eleventh. So there's a you know uh, so I asked my uh, my nephew actually it was my my niece though my nephew's son right you know mm-hmm. and I was I was feeling, I was feeling uh, you know my relatives uh, whoever came you know this you know changing them blasting them with love and and helping them out because I knew you know they were hurting just like you know it's like everybody else and uh, enjoying some time there with them and then. Uh, then right away I spotted that right away, so I thought nothing of it. I I slept. Okay, I slept. Mm-hmm. You know, well, it was a long day. You know, we we're watching TV and all that stuff and doing some other things. So as I was sleeping, you know, next thing I know, I'm I'm standing at this place. I I can see the I can very see the mountains. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking south. Okay, so that's when the that's um, that's when the mountains start. Okay, I'm standing there, and I see all these uh, traditional um, people. They're all in traditional clothing, you know, walking from from my left to right, and they're all going to um, the ceremony, hmm. right? That's where they're going. And I see mm-hmm. them all, you know, they're mm-hmm. all dressed beautifully. Yeah, I see them. Mm-hmm. So I'm just standing there. I'm looking. I'm looking at these people. And then uh, then I see this one man, this one native man, and he was he had his head down. And I said, okay. That's fine. And then he looked at me. Then as soon as he looked at me, I seen black eyes. He had big black eyes huh. staring at me. And all of a sudden, he turned into a big demon, this big monster. He turned into this big monster. Huh. And oh, and then then it was on. Then I was fighting him, fighting it. Mm-hmm. This was going on for a while. Like uh, I think the fight lasted about two days. Wow. Yeah. And this is in 3D. This is this is in another dimension. This is just like you and I looking at each other in the physical, or is it more of a ghost? Or it's it's in the fourth it's in the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension. Knows, yeah, okay. it, it, yeah. But it's there though, right? It's, oh it's yeah, I I know. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, yeah. It's so, okay. Yeah. So um, it's it was this 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 beast was our I, sh- I shouldn't say this entity. He was um, uh, holding that sacred site. He was defending it, mm-hmm. right? He didn't want it, you know. And he was he had uh, all those people. He had all those people, right? Well, right? right. He you was know? controlling it. Correct. He was a controller. Yes. So this was, uh, you know, uh, uh, this was uh, the sacred site for the people. So, mm-hmm. so when I was fighting it. Then what happened? How I defeated? I, I'm going. I'm going forward. There's you know a battle going on. You know, all of a sudden there was some other you know uh, nefarious uh, uh, entity showed up. Of course, on his side, mm-hmm. my people showed up. You know, because we're all connected. You know how we battle um, in our sleep. Well, that's exactly what happened. So, uh-huh. and so what happened was uh, after after a while, I um, I couldn't really kill it. But then I ch- I channeled all the hearts. I connected all the hearts in the world, and I destroyed it. Huh? And, and you were able I, to do that. Yeah. Yes, because my because mm-hmm. I'm I'm connected to all the hearts in the world, so I just channeled it. Mm-hmm. Love, right? Mm-hmm. And then that's you know. Was that's there any color? Is. Was there any color to it, or any kind of, you know, what did it look like, or did you see anything? Some sometimes people see color. Sometimes they they feel something or. Oh, you mean um, you mean when I when I shot it with with love? Yeah, I uh, was source. I used source love. It was okay. it was it was pure white. Pure white. Okay, like a yeah. white, a strong white. Yes, light. Yes, yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. then somebody else would see it a, a different color. Somebody else, if they had a reference with uh, golden energy, they would see the golden energy too. Uh-huh. Is that what you're looking? Is that what you're looking at? That golden energy. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was actually looking at green because that's my color. That's a color oh, I use. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's hard. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah. That's ancient too, by the way. Yeah. I see, I see oh, that too. It's ancient. Yeah, it's like a beautiful emerald green. That's how I see it. That's yeah. 
color of love for me. I, everyone, we're all unique, you know, having this unique experience. And so we each have, you know, something that we bring to the, the big soup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> big soup. Uh, I like that word. So. Yeah, so uh, this it's, this occurred, and once it, once it happened, you know, the next day I woke up, and I, I knew it was over, and you know everything uh, seemed a lot better, you know, because when I got there, people were so disconnected from their hearts. It was it right. was quite sad, you know. I don't mean you know I don't mean just the natives, but I mean everybody. Yeah. Yeah, and you it was, could feel the energy was probably dark and intense. Yes, it was. No one was, was happy or nobody, laughing. Nobody, it yeah, nobody cared serious. about nothing. It it's was when nobody. It gets so serious. Yeah, oh, nobody I, cared about nothing. You know, nobody yeah. cared. You know, and that's uh-huh. that's how I tell you. You know, and then I, you know, right away too. And I, and I, when that one, when that point was when I was looking there, then I was looking at home up north. Sure, you know, we have these, you know, a, a bad life going up there. You know, of course, we, you know, we live in our third world communities and mm-hmm. and all that bad stuff. But you know what though, they are were way off better than people around here. You know, in the United States, in that area, because they are still connected to the land. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's true. That's you know, true. yes, and I and I and I seen that clearly. And I was like, yeah. wow, you know, and that and I wanted to bring that message to them. You know, yeah, even though you know, yes, it's hard up there. You know, all that stuff's going on with them. You know, there's a, a rampant um, addiction uh, addictions going on there. Right. It's right. horrible, but. You know, at, at another time too, they you know they signed up for that. You know, they they chose the hardest life, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you know, because of their hearts, so they will remember their hearts. And this is this is why I was there. Uh, you know, so well, yeah, and and, and to re- and so kind of to just be the catalyst for them to remember, right? That their foundation with that foundation is so solid right from all the yes. ans- the previous ancestry it's their right and their lineage to tap into it it's their given right is that, yes. i think i kind of got that just when you're saying that so yes right <laughs> i know thank you so much you always see the stuff you know you're you are the oracle <laughs> Well, hey, you know, and you are the healer. You're the, uh, so w- you know, you're the walking heart healer, and shaman, you know. And, you know, it's something that we don't, we don't start out as. It definitely is a, whew, a heavy, Memory. heavy it- healing school and then transition and transformation. And, you know, I, and like you, I'm sure I've, you know, you've had hundreds of deaths. You know, like you've had, I feel like that. I've had a hundred deaths to yeah, get with thousands, thousands, Yeah, thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. So I, yeah. I just had this cool lady. Um, she's wonderful. I'm going to have her on the show. And she's a Donna of Star Ancestry. And she did a star chart for me. And, you know, and according to her star chart, um, um, approximately when I was incarnating on planet Earth, was 75,000 years ago, you know? And so I'm thinking, I look pretty good, you know? <laughs> 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 but, you know, we can bring that much time and that much um, alignment and knowledge with us, you know? Of course, yes. You've been you conditioned know, to think this is all there is. It's just not true, you know? You know, too, and you must, you know, you must factor in the other, the other timelines as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Once you once you understand that part, and then then you then then um, understand that how many how many more lifetimes you had because of that, mm-hmm. you know, and that's it, it's vast, you know. But that's a lot of love, you know. You've got to think about you know the words that you use, and it's it's a lot of love that you have, and that's why you're here. Yeah, that's yeah. why you're talking to me, <laughs> and that's why we're friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So it this is good. So so you're there, you're with them, you help them out. And I remember there's something else that happened with if we don't have to continue this story, but I think that people understand, you know, that that um the energy was diffused, it was, you know, destroyed and yeah. was canceled out so that all that darkness was dispelled and that fear was just, you know, kicked out of town. 
and off the co off the planet probably it looks like so that they could have uh, remember yes. remember their lineage remember the joy i think you know joy is the best medicine to kick butt on fear and and uh you know all those uh uh false things that appear to be so you know darth vader like <laughs> <laughs> No, it, no, that's true too. Um, so, how I seen that when I when I was coming closer to um, Oregon, I seen this uh, uh, neg uh, negative shield, okay, around it, and that mm -hmm. and that's why and it was right there. Huh. So this big this big shield was there. You know, it was like a big bubble, and it kind of um, interfered uh, with everything in the West Coast. Mm-hmm. And I seen it, you know, and then once, you know, and I, and I seen uh, that type of uh, setup either way up north. So I knew, I, I knew how to break it. You have to go inside and break it. So oh. that's why, that's why I went. So huh. once I, once I, once I broke it, once I broke it, you know, it was, uh, it was released. Huh. Well, so that must have been like, I don't know, you know, the, the, the you're going to love this analogy. It's like Moses parting the water, right? It's, yeah. it's but it's like that. It's, we it, have, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And we have yes. the power to do yes. that. There's, we yeah, do. It's, you know, like it, mm -hmm. yes, yes, we do, you know, and <laughs> I, and I did it. Um, you know, of course I was, you know, there, you know, there, I have my connections there of the heart, you know, um, but, you know, it's us, you know, boots on the ground type, you know, mm -hmm. what's going on. And then, you know what, too, I, I did not know this, but then um, when I came back, I said, oh, that was, you know, you know, amazing what I, you know, what I accomplished around there. And then I came back and there's like, uh, oh, there's an eclipse going. And I looked at the eclipse and said, hey, that's the same spot where it's going to go over, where it's going to pass. Mm. Huh. <laughs> you know, and. Boy. What? So all this is happening during an eclipse, too. Of course. Yes. Right? Of yes. Course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 big eclipse happened. And I think it was in September, or something like that. Because uh, this was I went there in. Yeah, July. That happened. I think July eleventh. Wow. Yes. I and know that I've been watching you grow and go. That's my word for you. <laughs> <laughs> You always make me laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's watching you grow and go. You know, it's like, wow, he's doing that. And then you're off, you know, you're in your van and you're just traveling all over, all over the world and doing your work wherever spirit brings you. Is yes, yes, like yes. I could that? travel anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have like just a suitcase, you know, I'm, I don't have a home or I'm homeless. I tell my kids that and they don't like that, but it's by choice right now. And so that I can travel and just kind of let spirit kind of guide me to where I'm going to be going. And as soon as I did that, man, things changed. As soon as I said yes and let go and surrender, you know, control of, yeah. you know, it yeah. just, and I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I brought three kids as a single mom along with me, you know, for the ride. Oh, and so, yeah. So, you know, they're, they're used to that lifestyle where your spirit, where you work with spirit. And, and, um, so we moved a lot. <laughs> That's the bottom line, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't, like I said, I only, this, I haven't been anywhere, you know, quite frankly, I only went to the States. I went to Montana, but then I went to uh, Chicago. Then I came here, uh, in, uh, October. Yeah, well, that's a long way from Canada, okay? Yeah, it is. It uh, is. Uh huh. And you probably never thought you would be there at all. This is never. <laughs> you know, I had I had visions of being me being in Miami because they they're showing me where I lived before. You know, there's a uh, downtown uh, Miami. Uh huh. That's where I lived. Oh, right. And, and I did not I did I did not know nothing about it. Uh huh. And I'm here with people, you know, uh, meeting them online and you know this randomness. Mm-hmm. They told me that um, in Miami downtown, there's a sacred site there. Oh. And, and I remember living there. Wow. Wow. You know? I, I, yeah, well, sacred sites hold that energy. Yes, because, yeah, because sometimes, you know, the medicine man or the shaman, the, mm -hmm. they would keep them. Right. You know, they, you know, they would, uh, you know, uh, have ceremony. Right. right? They would keep was, ceremony yeah. going. 
Yes, yep. and then yeah, and then that place there, it was uh, you know, I you know, because I I can read the you know Akashic records of the right. land. So right. I'm gonna share something with you before okay. you know when when it was uh when Atlantis was there, there was a road. They would have um, they would have a, they would have a pilgrimage from there, and they would walk. Oh, that makes sense. They would you walk. know, yeah, to get healing, and so it yep. was like a, a walkabout. It's like yes. a yeah a pilgrimage for healing. Yep. Yes, yeah, and wow. they would, you know, they would, they had vehicles and whatever, but they, you know, they would, they would walk, you know, mm -hmm. do, do it the old mm -hmm. way, and over time they it, it forgot. I remember too in in uh, Florida as well is that when I was uh, my friend took me to this one place, and it was quite amazing. When I was there, we went to this um, this observation deck. Mm -hmm. It was kind of high. It was like uh, I don't know about six stories high. It was wooden. When we got up there, you know, as soon as we got up there, we were looking around, and we turned. I turned around, and there was this. Um, this uh, I don't. It wasn't an eagle. It was um, a vulture. A vulture. And, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, and it it was like you know what? It was like uh, you know I could have touched it, and oh. it, it and there's a sun was right there. It was it was circling us. It was circling us like in between the sun and us, and it was it was so close. It was like wow. It was like <laughs> you know, and that was uh you know that was a, a completion, right? You know yeah, how yeah. I see it. It yeah. was a completion. You know, and then as soon as I, when I was before that though, I was remembering me living there because that area, it was, it's a, it's a, it's a preserve kind mm -hmm. of like, it's kind of like uh central Florida, kind of uh, maybe a little bit to the east. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I remember that area, see, Florida was a lot wider. So that area was um, desert, sand. Huh. huh? It was sand, desert, huh. like yeah. a, like Arizona kind of thing. Yeah. So then, you're able to step back. I've done that before where you step back in time while you're there. I, yeah. you know, and, and you don't even really ask for it. It just happens. And if you can relax into it, it has a lot of information for you. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing that. And we're coming up to break in a second now. So thanks for coming on. I just love the synchronicity of all of this. Radio, yes. Sean Paul. And we're going to have Molly right Ladd. Hey, Molly. Might be still muted. But yeah, I'm muted. Hi, Barbara. Hi. It's nice to hear you. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Nice to have you on at the first Thank you. In year. breaking news, awesome. a visiting awesome. Syrian <laughs> diplomat <laughs> reported today that their population is evolving break. rapidly and advancing into now, a fifth so dimensional break consciousness. Um, they are I'm, seeking peace with all cosmic us, cultures, which may mean on. that the Earth uh, will be oh, asked to join now. the prestigious that. Galactic <gasps> Federation of Light Alliances. Hey. Please join oh, Debbie the West road. and Michael Hathaway okay, on everyone, Lost Knowledge, right back, uh, Saturdays, 3 p.m. Eastern in. Standard Time we'll in Lamb Studio A for the latest break. breaking news on the Star and Visitor's peaceful contact the the and the ongoing project. Yes, it is. Cleansing. I hear it. It's the Earth Planet. Okay, thank you. Oh. I'm going to take a lead from you. I am the architect. I created the Matrix. I've been waiting for you. Okay. Why am I here? You are you the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been I'm unable to eliminate from what is here. otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision, which has led you inexorably here. You haven't answered my question. The Matrix is older than you know, as you are undoubtedly gathering the anomaly is systemic creating fluctuations in even the most simplistic equation. Choice. The problem is choice. Right here at Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com. Be here Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for Private Eye Matrix Revealed with Monique Lassonde. Hello, my name is Mr. Rowe. 
I am the host of Reality Extraction on Revolution Radio at freedomslips.com. I utilize logic, intellect, and magic to methodically atomize, vivisect, analyze, examine, study, scrutinize, and extract an essence of reality from a fog of illusion and confusion. You can find me on Studio B every Thursday at 1700 hours Pacific Time. That's 8 p.m. Eastern. No topic taboo, no subject too strange. I strive to take a neutral standpoint during the dissection of the topic at hand. That's Reality Extraction with Mr. Rowe on Revolution Radio. This is Thomas, a.k.a. a mad painter. I'd like you to join me Monday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Open Canvas. Don't forget to bring an open mind. Yes, folks, that's right. Bring an open mind to an open canvas. Again, that is Monday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern. UFOs to government corruption. This is Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com. You don't need to expect us. We're already here. Moscow's freeze. That's your cerebral cortex looking for an answer it doesn't have. See? Even your brain knows you're screwed. The blood is filling with adrenaline right now. Whether you know it or not. The heart's beating fast. It's getting a little harder to breathe. The neurobiological system is telling it to run. But your knees are too weak to move. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. You're listening to Revolution Radio at freedomslips.com. 100% listener supported radio. Reporting the danger. Unafraid. Right here, where information never sleeps. Revolution. Revolution. Radio. Radio. of The Conquered Show. And co-host, Marine Corps Map, coming to you on Monday and Tuesdays in Studio A, noon to 2 Eastern. And Studio B on Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern, with educational, instructional information and situational update, often with wonderful guests on the current landscape in the U.S. and overseas. This is a go, 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 go. We are with you side to side, and back-to-back. Please join us on Monday through Wednesdays. As well as other hosts and guests here on Revolution Radio. 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 We're not gonna take it anymore. That's right, we're not gonna take it anymore. We said we're not gonna take it anymore. The opinions expressed on this radio station, its programs, and its website by the hosts, guests, and call-in listeners or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. They do not necessarily represent the opinions of Revolution Radio and FreedomSlips.com, its staff, or affiliates. You're listening to Revolution Radio, FreedomSlips.com, 100% listener-supported radio, and now we return you to your host... Right. Welcome back to the Cosmic Oracle Show. Uh, we are um, here thanks to you and your generous donations and keeping us here. Um, I know we're on our seventh year now. And just uh, the way you can donate is uh, because we're on all volunteer station is that the money that you donate goes all 100% to the station to keep uh, all the 
programs on the air and keep the information out there. And it's not tainted. We get to talk about whatever we want and uh, have our guest on whomever we like. And so there's total freedom here on Revolution Radio to uh, get the truth out to you. And the way we can do that is by your generosity. So all you have to do is to go to freedomslips.com, find that donate button on the home page. It's really easy to, or it's a it's actually a funding button. Push that funding button and give whatever you can afford. There's no amount that's too small or too large and we really appreciate it. Usually I tell you what our figures are, but I don't know what they are today. So uh, uh, I just know that we are always just barely making it. I was hoping that 2018 we could have enough and to spare. That's our mantra for my mantra for Revolution Radio uh, this year, 2018 is by your generosity and your donation nations that we have enough and to spare here at the station to uh, take all it whatever it needs to uh, pay electric bills and get new equipment and uh, keep everything running and going here on Revolution Radio and we wouldn't be here without you the listeners so thank you so much and continue to give generously because we really appreciate it so welcome back to the Cosmic Oracle Show and I'm your host Barbara Jean Lindsay we're here every Friday so 8 o'clock Eastern to 10 o'clock and we're in Studio B at Freedom Slips Dot com. And I have um, I have Jean uh, Jean Paul Baptiste uh, as a guest on the show today. Uh, welcome back, Jean Paul. And he- oh, oh, I'm here. <laughs> Thank okay, you very great. much. Thank you. And we'll be talking, uh, continuing our conversation. We also have Wally Ladd. How you doing, Wally? It's our first time actually talking at the beginning of the year. Yes, it is. And what a what a great start to the new year, isn't it? Yeah, it really yeah. is. I'm having a good one. I I'm I don't know, I'm in transformation and transition and I'm really um I don't know, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm well, gonna you know, take it. You know, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> you know, Barbara, we're all in transition with, with these uh tri you know, these triangles and crosses of the blood red moons, the super blue moon. Um, it, it's all coming into play and we, we've, we've gotten more super moons coming and, and uh, uh, full moons that, you know, each one is a stepping stone and we have to be ready for them because if you notice, there's just tons of people that are just not handling what's going on right now mm-hmm. the right way. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. being honest. It's being forgiving. It's being loving. Mm-hmm. And people just, if they're not playing, if they're not understanding what's going on, they're going through H-E-L-L-L. Yeah. And yeah. you can see it. Um, yeah. The stress. Um, the stress oh, is how I see it. Just the stress. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And we don't have to go through that stress. We can, if, if we do things right, if we're honest with ourselves, that's the big thing. Being honest with yourself. You can say, oh, I didn't do that or I didn't do this or I did. No, you have to be through these times. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with other people, treating people the way you want to be treated with love, kindness, forgiveness, because half the people have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, it's, and, and the forgiveness part is the key too. Oh, <laughs> like it's, hard and, to forg- it's still hard to forgive. Okay. It, I've, it, I've, <laughs> it is, know? it is, it is one of the hardest things to do, but we have to do it because it'll come back to us tenfold. It will. And, and, you know, you can say that, but you have to, once you do it a few times, then you get it, you know, well, it's more than a few th- times, more than a few times. <laughs> <laughs> But exactly, these times we're going through, they're unprecedented. I mean, have we, have you ever lived through a time where politics has has run a person's life the way it's running through this, this season? This is unbelievable. I mean, friends are beating up friends, are shooting friends, are dropping, you know, all over what? Uh, really, you got to ask yourself, what? There's nothing. It's that they're letting this energy rule them, where they have to take control of the energy going on right now. Yeah, and 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 seeing where where they can fit in to heal it or to help 
to be a helper, you know, in exactly. all of this and not be someone who perpetuates the hatred and the lie and the all of the uh, and to stand up for what you say. I, I love that part of it. I really do to stand yes. to stand up and have your voice be heard and and look around when you go to marches and you go to you know to have your freedom to of speech you know no matter what it is you know so it, it, exactly people have to learn in fact there's one real quick thing i want to mm -hmm. just kind of uh paraphrase sure. out of the bible here because i read i read the armor of god every day when after i do readings with my mother mm -hmm. and there's one part in there that people just really don't understand and it's uh, uh put putting the full armor of god on so that you can you can stand against, well, that's not the one I wanted, but stand mm -hmm. against the, the, you know, it's not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, authorities. But where it says, um, where is this here? I'm trying to quickly find this. Um, to stand, oh, here it is. Uh, and, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. You know, and, and that's what people aren't doing. They're, they're backing down. They need to stand firm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's just not happening. I mean, there's so yeah. many snowflakes out there. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's, uh -huh. it, it, it's real trying. Well, well, it's time for leaders, too. It's time for if you I, I know myself, I hide a lot. I think I hit a lot. I was hermit for a long time, even though I was going through all my transition. And then to come out and to find your voice, you know, and then be a leader is is huge transformation. But I see it happening with tons of people not just a few but you know just thousands of people that are who, who stayed at home and never did anything are on the bandwagon and have something to say so i i do have hope for humanity you know i really I, do i do too i want to get i want to get because to the promised land because on this earth this is a very short period we're here mm -hmm. it's where we go from here and what we do here will we will determine where we go from here, and that yeah. is that is for eternity. Right, and and it's personal and group consciousness. As exactly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly, and that that's what people have to realize. And you know, they can worship as I say, the golden calf. You know, your motorcycles, your new trucks, your your bling, your jet skis. I don't know. But, sometimes that's not so bad. A little bit. Well, of that, you know, <laughs> you know, it's nice when you can have them. You can enjoy yeah. them. You can enjoy but them with not, your friends. But it's not all it's been said. It is right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you, you have know. to give it up to really find uh, really what what you have is so abundant. But also, you know, um, there is who's the, um, he has a show right uh, right before me. I love his show. He's talking about, oh, I should find it on the schedule. I'm afraid to get lost. <laughs> so, no, you, you hang on. I'll go get it. I'll go get okay. it. Okay. It's on Schedule B and it's right before my show. And he's talking about prosperity and abundance for all of us and that doesn't necessarily mean um that you um you know all the cars and ferraris and all of that but it can mean you have a more enough and to spare to get through you know what i mean so exactly exactly yeah. it's the journey it's the journey down the rabbit hole dwight yeah. lily yeah Dwight you know, Lee. I love that guy i want to meet him and i want to have him on the show because i really like what he says you know, we have some very good hosts here on Revolution Radio, oh. and, you know, you can learn a lot, but yep. you have to be willing to learn. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, <laughs> you know. That's and so true. That's so true. It and is. I'm learning a lot from his show, so it's really cool. So, exactly. Um, you know, yeah, there's some, there's some very good shows on here. Um, I enjoy listening to it. It's one of the, the easiest platforms to use out of all the, the internet radio. Um, Revolution Radio's platform is probably the best that I have ever seen. Mm. It's easy mm. to maneuver around. You can go with a glance, look to see the scheduling. Right. Um, I'm, I'm not quite a fan of this new chat room, but it, it, it's going to take time to get used to. I didn't yeah, like it yeah. at first, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it's you, you know, you gotta, you gotta go with change, you know. So well, exactly, I mean, we, you know, <laughs> these kids, 
Exactly. These kids grew up with the with the internet and the computer and the cell phones. They know by heart. You people like you and I, we have to learn it. And it's it's a it's a road that really takes a lot of learning, a learning curve to get used to. And it's the same thing, you know, with the the, the this chat room. It, it's a learning curve, mm-hmm. but we can do it. We can. And do you have anything you want to uh, offer to this, John Paul? A little bit. I can feel you a little bit. Okay. Hi, John Paul. <laughs> this <laughs> nice is Wally. Meet you. Hello, Wally. Nice to meet you too. Very good. Um, so, um, yeah, they were talking. You guys are talking about uh, now. What I what I can say is that um, they are resisting the energies. Oh yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. they could capture them, but they're not. They are resisting them. So mm-hmm. they are, um, you know, pushing them back. So there's that, you know, there's that conflict, you know, they're, they're like, they're going, you know, up the stream of the water and getting injured. So if they just flow with it, you know, that will change them. And, yeah. You know, yeah. And there's people like me that can help these people. And I, and I do, cause I, cause I can recognize, you know, we can all recognize there's, you know, they're, they're having these visions, their, you know, their minds are erasing as soon as they sleep, you mm-hmm. know, and so forth and so forth. But, you know, they're not asking for help. Right. You yeah, know, I, I had a, a, a girl call uh, this week who had, uh, ever since she was born, she's in her mid-20s, and it's the first time she talked to someone uh, where she just took, she said, I don't know, I just took a chance and thought you might understand. She said there's a double of her that follows her everywhere. Oh, her shadow she's, self. Your shadow self. And so we got to talk about that, and she was just so relieved you know, that, it's, that it's okay. Hey, it's not a, it's a, something that that's organic and that, um, can, yeah, it can be fixed, you know, it yeah. can be healed, you know, anything yeah. can be healed, anything can be healed. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really good. So, so, um, so what I'd like to do, Wally and I had talked earlier about having a reading, you know, and if I give you a reading, Wally, it's the first one I'm going to be doing this year. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sweet, <laughs> sweet. But you know, Barbara. Yeah. It's in, in John Paul or John Batiste, excuse me. Um, my mother did a lot of, a lot of work setting up Marian peace centers for John Paul, Pope John Paul. That's why that oh. popped out like that. Oh. Um, it, it's interesting. You, you mentioned something about the shadow people because mm-hmm. there, there's something that I just can't get beyond. Everybody mm-hmm. tells me I got all this prosperity but all I've been asking everybody is, give me the key to unlock the door. Mm-hmm. You know, a, a lot of meditation. I do readings with my mother. She's going to yeah. be 84 coming uh, February 13th. I was going to ask you how your mom is. That I, the, I'm so glad you said that because I was going to ask you, how's your mom? She's, she's doing good today. Um, like I was talking about this super blue full moon, um, it affected her today. And with these moons, with these astrological things happening, it's usually three days before, three days after. Um, and she just, she didn't get out of bed today. Um, I called and called and called. She didn't take my foot, my call. And finally tonight when I, I, every Friday night I go to dinner with a good friend of mine and he's about uh, eight years older than I am. Wonderful welder, nice man. Every Friday we usually go to dinner. We'll pick a restaurant. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's 30 miles to wherever we want to go because we, we live in the woods up here. Mm-hmm. He, he lives about 10 miles south of me. And uh, so she called me. Oh, she was just in. She didn't even really want to talk. I don't know why she called me, but she didn't want to talk. And and uh, I said, Ma, when I get home, I'll give you a call. I said, I love you. God bless you. And uh, when I finally got back, when I jumped home, before I jumped on here, I called her real quick and, and she's, she's much better now, but I explained to her, I says, mother, this moon that came in, I said, you're doing everything right, but Mm -hmm. it it popped in on you Mm -hmm. and you didn't catch it when it came in the door and she did some things and she got it back out the door and she's much better now. That's good. That's good. It can feel heavy. It can feel really heavy. it was when I listened, when mm-hmm. I heard her, when she first called me, I'm just, oh, oh. so I'm praying for her at dinner 
And uh, she must have got the message and went to the right words and it got her out of it. So, yeah, it's just it's, it's like, you know, it's something that I'm not being able to eliminate. OK. In order to make all these things happen. OK. You know, when you're talking and I just get what I get for whatever reason. And, and it seems like for me, a, a past life's lit up and I know I'm going to get a lot of slack from people out there, but I'm used to that now. And so, and I know Jean Paul is, is that you, I just, when you're talking, when you're talking about that, a past life lit up and it's a, a um, I'd like to give you that reading on that, if that's okay with you. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. I mean, okay. uh, any, any help, I, yeah, I got I, I got a lot of things happening, but I just need a little more, a little bit more refining in order to make yeah. these things happen. So thank I, you, Barbara. You're welcome. I think it's going to help. I, um, you know, and it's because you'll be about the, you'll. I've I've seen this before with people, and it really does help. Okay, and that's where with this past life is where, and you probably. I feel like we've already said it. You know, we probably did this show on another dimension and we're just bringing it in now, you know, all three of us, you know. <laughs> exactly. It, exactly. We're like so in tune with each other and, and you guys don't even know each other, but I feel like we're like, whoo, we're in it, you know. And I feel John, Jean Paul's um, healing energy here too. And so, John, you're a, a seer and a healer, and, and I'd like for you to tell what you see after. But I'll do it first, if that's cool. Ladies okay. first here. And so what I see lit up is a past life. And when I see a past life lit, it's where right behind you, you know, we were talking about a shadow person. But what I see right behind you is a past life that's really lit. And what it is, it's a past life of where you took a vow of poverty and chastity and uh, for life. <laughs> Barbara, I don't know if I want to hear this on the air, but go ahead. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I have nothing to hide. Everything, the truth has to come out in these times. So, so let you, it rip. And, you know, I think, I thank you, Wally, because I think a lot of people uh, I have think so. past lives. Okay? I think we'll help a lot of other people yeah. that are listening yeah. to. Yeah. And so where you took that vow of poverty for, um, you know, to not have enough of anything, not have enough of food, not have enough of water and where the body was a problem, you know, where it's something to control and and it was an issue and and uh, where you all work together. It's like I see in like a, um, a, a like a mission or a, a, a monk's house. It was all men. And where you all work together and the sense of community was really wonderful. And this lifetime, you really miss that sense of community because everyone had a small job and all together it, you create something beautiful. And that worked. But the part where you, you know, had to, I see you're showing me a picture of you laying uh, prostrate uh on the cold tile and you were there for for like hours and hours and hours. And uh you know, calling out to spirit, to, to, uh, God or Jesus to help you, you know, and help, uh, wash the sins from you. And, and so in that, uh, you, that was your whole life. You dedicated your whole life to that. At the same time, um, I see you, um, painting, you know, the manual. So you probably really like books, but it's where you were writing, you know, the calligraphy of the writing of, of the word. And it was really beautiful. You were really a master at that. So um, that's the uh, upside of that. So it's living in that artist life, uh, being supported by a community, but outside of that, there's nothing. There's like, there's nothing outside of that and you can't create anything. You can't receive anything and you can't give anything away. So it's with the whole monetary system. You have a lot of judgment on it that it's evil and uh, it's the root of all evil. And so you have to blow all that up. You have to change that. You have to let go of all of that. That's very much the past and start reconditioning yourself that money can help you. It can help you help other people. It's just an energy exchange. You know, there's all sorts of changes that come with the, uh, the currency that it's a good thing. It's just energy. 
And so letting go, and I just see you as we're talking, um, you moving that out and letting it go. And you know, it, it also, not only to have the change mentally and spiritually, but on a body level. So it's kind of like opening the front door of your house and kicking it out. You know, I've had a, unless you don't, unless you want to keep it still, of course, it, the choice is yours. Well, definitely don't want to keep it. In fact, I'm walking down to my front door to open it up right and to kick it out right now. Kick it out now and forever. And then just reclaim. See, I reclaim my prosperity. You can say it out loud. I claim my, you know. Out. Get out right now. It's nine degrees out there. Get out. I'm reclaiming my prosperity. Out. Out. Yeah. Yeah. In the now name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's cold out there. <laughs> Let him freeze. Yeah, let them freeze. Freeze and break into icicles and then it breaks apart and disappears, okay? Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, and so you might have to do that a couple times, you know, when you start uh, doubting yourself and that stinking thinking comes in and, and says, you know, all that stuff. I don't know what you're personal programming is but that you know all of that and you know what that is and so I won't go on to that on the air but when you see that and feel that and the lack you know where you're looking through negative eyes you're looking through a lack instead of being grateful thankful for what you have and what you can create so go you know when you find yourself doing that tell it shut up and replace it with a dream of what you want to dream for 2018, what you want to have for yourself, where you want to have enough and to spare. You want to have, you know, uh, sell your products, your wonderful products that you have. And we'll talk about that for a minute too. And, and that you get to have business success where money just blows to you like a river. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. So I just see you working on that. A lot of uh, white energy leaving. A lot of control energy leaving. And then uh, some of it having to do with your ancestry as well. Because you're not the only one. You come from a long lineage of that. So it's a, a re, you know, deconditioning yourself from all of your lineage. So if you can just move it away. Just take your hands and you know, just offer it up. Just take both your hands and offer it up to Great Spirit to take. You know, take this burden from me. I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's it's very unique that you say that, because in the readings I do with Mother, it, this is it's all been it's in those readings are exactly what is pertaining, um, uh, exactly, mm -hmm. and and I, I'm growing. I, I I feel myself growing. I'm mm -hmm. getting to that point, and. Uh, but it, it's tough. But yeah. The biggest yeah. thing is the forgiveness and the honesty. Yeah. That that is those are big. The love, the forgiveness, and the honesty are the biggest things mm -hmm. that people they will say it, but they won't do, really mean it. They speak uh -huh. it out of their their mouth, but they really don't mean it. I do. Mm -hmm. I have conviction mm -hmm. in my words now. Mm -hmm. I see that. Um, You've changed a lot. You've grown a lot since I've known you for the last four years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank you, Barbara. Um, <laughs> so have I, I. I mean, we all have, you know, but we, you really have. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And and that's why I know this is, you know, and, and, and I have a hard time with reincarnation, but I know this is my last time here. I'm what? learning the lesson. I don't what? have to repeat history. You don't have to be in strife. You don't have to be, you can choose not to be in strife, not to be in pain, not to be in suffering, but you put your energy in joy. You're such a joyful being when I look at you, Wally. You're a good person and you're positive and you're happy and you love life and you have so much to bring. And it's when that energy goes down, it wants to take you down and take you out. Oh, so yeah. It does, really strong. Yes. So yes. it's where you lift. Just when you feel that, just take your hands and lift it up to the ceiling and let spirit just take it and then clap your hands and it's gone. You know, yes. and the more you do that, then you don't have to even do it anymore. And then you have your prosperity coming to you. 
It really does help. And I see you also helping change your energy in your body, too, with the way you're taking care of yourself. That's also very helpful. Is, so, sp- speaking of that, I just went to the doctor yesterday, day before, yeah, day before. And other than quit smoking, he gave me the pills, and I'm going to start those. My cholesterol. That's huge. My cholesterol was 178. He's in under 200 is safe. He -hmm. said, I want to see it down to 50. We probably won't get it to there. But, and I, coming from a drug dealing family, I don't want to take pharmaceuticals. But he said, Wally, there's no naturals at unless you get on a strict diet. You can, you know, yeah. but you need to, you need to dissolve what you have because you have an aneurysm. He says, oh. and, and on the sixth, I go get an ultrasound to see where that mm-hmm. stands at. And I mm-hmm. get a chest x-ray, but other than that, he said that your PSA was fine. He says, no finger. I says, oh, come on, doc. <laughs> <laughs> he says, your PSA, you know, your blood work was, was really good. Um, he says, you lost a lot of weight. And I says, yeah, when you walked in the door, I says, Hey, my, my doctor's, uh, Dr. Rudy, uh, Oaks. I says, he says, I am. I says, Rudy, you've changed. He's lost a lot of weight also. And, oh, it's and I awesome. says, you look good, Rudy. He says, Wally, you look good from last yeah, time I seen you, which was about six, five years ago. Wow. He says, you look real good. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I am. And I felt very good when I left there. I had a wonderful day there. I had a wonderful conversation with him. So, yes, I do find the changes happening. But I just need a little bit of refining. And that's why when you offered, when we talked the other day, and I said, come on, I just need a little refining. I'm very happy to have John Paul. But he's there because, you know, um, He's, he's going to add to it. He's going to. I'm sure, and I can't just, wait for that. I know one you can. You can he's feel it. Huh? He's just saying, no, come on, come on, come on. I got a lot of things to say. I feel it. I feel it. So yeah, Thank he's you. yeah. You, yeah, you're you're welcome, Molly. It's my pleasure. And so now yeah, let's get you on, Jean Paul, and see what what you can add to this. This is awesome. It's a one two you know deal here. It's it's a one two punch. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, so first of all, I want to say that I want to, uh, Wally, you you have a beautiful heart. Now, um, now I, I I connected to you and the people that are listening as well. Mm-hmm. Now, um, now when we do this, when we connect to each other's hearts, we have clarity of the heart. You know, that's why your seeing was increased. Do, do you remember the part where um, he was showing us? Then he then he showed the the pyramids. You know, and I want to say that it's always about the pyramids. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's it's true. It's always yes. about the pyramids. Huh. You, have, you know, seen these pyramids all so many times already. But anyways, as soon as he as soon as he said that, you know, because I because I was helping you, because I was I I was seeing it right away, and I was and I was moving the, the energies, and I was I was pulling it off. Right, see, that's how my heart. You know, my right. heart comes in, and it right. pulls off the you know the pain. Right? Yeah, it's heart. okay to get a healing. You don't have to yeah. go through this on your own. You can get a healing. Everyone out there, you can get a healing. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> my rant. <laughs> Not my rant there. Well, you were triggered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're so you're, you're, you're a passionate woman as well. So, so yeah, so as soon as I said that, um, I, I pulled that, that block, right? The, that block was the heart. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, now, see... Now, if the heart is blocked, let's say um, let's say a little patch of it. Let's say one quarter of it is hard. Okay, not the inside, but out the outside. You know, you can't um, increase in vibration, right? Oh. Heart, right? You know, that's that's yeah, your back. Yeah, yeah. It, it can't grow that way. It could if that thing was removed. So, but I just removed it. That's awesome. Did you so, feel anything? Did you feel that well, while we were talking? I, I, I'm feeling everything right now. Yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, we're both I, over there talking. We're both over there doing it. <laughs> That's why I'm staying quiet. Okay. <laughs> because we are we are blasting you. You know, I don't want you to just listen to my voice and just relax, right? Because this is how you know I work. This is how Barb works. This is how you know we worked uh, millions of years ago. You know, probably this, yes. This, this is ancient knowledge, right, of the heart. So as soon as he was uh, describing, you're talking. You know, we're all there together. Mm-hmm. You know, in a in a exactly. secret union, you right? Because you've seen that too, and that's why that's why you pointed that out. So, so what's going on right now is that you know we are changing them. You know, we are yeah. changing him with love. You know, people on the radio should be able to feel this, and I don't mean everybody can, but yes, you know, if you can, you'll feel they, it in the heart, and they'll get a healing as well. 
course. That's yeah. the way it works. That's the way it works. Yes, and it's very yeah, it's very you know prominent because I'm reaching out for so many right now. I, I can feel mm-hmm. it. You know, I can feel that. You know that immense love that you know mm-hmm. that are that's within you know in our hearts. Right. You know, and that's it. yeah. And so you know we're, we're doing this to Wally. Okay, Wally is getting uh, the the full week workout right now because I know he is. <laughs> Now you're talking about the door. Yeah. Okay. Now um, there's another one that I want to share with you is that, yeah. Okay. There's a door in front of the heart going out. Right. But there's another one in the back and it's actually in your back. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it is a, it is a, it is a portal. Interesting. You know, cause you have to, you know, the, the energies has to flow. Right. right. It comes in and comes out. Right. You know, that's, that's how it, it flows, you know, comes, comes in from the top of the head kind of um, comes out, comes out, then goes back into the heart. Yeah. Then, then it comes out again and it goes into the, the root chakra. Yeah. You know what I get when you're saying that too, it's like, you know, when people say you have a, a knife to the heart, it's through the back where they come through, you know, that where they, oh. you're stabbed in the back. It's right through the back of the heart. Yeah. It's, it's a block. And then what you do, you just pull it out. Yep. And, then, and you and- can do that with just by, visually seeing it right yes you can see it so everyone can do this you don't need to take a class or anything you can just visually if you feel that they'll probably feel it in the back of their heart some tightness there or like a you know um like an iron door you know where you can feel it where it's that hard right where they can go ahead you can walk them could you walk them through that then yes yeah and yeah and just you know what that's 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 seeing you know, when you, when you envision something, you know, how something like a memory comes in, for, you know, for whatever reason it is. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's seeing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's more than a memory. Okay. That's a gift. Mm-hmm. Right. And you have to trust it. You know, you can't say, you can't discount it, you know, and let the mind take over and call it whatever it is. No, you say mind, you know, it's, it's never mind. You never just, mind. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you know, you just, uh, you know, you just uh, go with it. Okay. And then once once you get validation, you know what? Your heart feels better because mm-hmm. you know your heart is your is your um, you know beacon. You know, yeah, right. It's your it's gauge. It's on the live part. It's the yeah. vital part. That's yes, the vital yes. signs. It's the vital heart. It's like I'm alive. It's alive. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's through the heart. That's through the heart. It is. It yeah. is. You know. And then you know, right now it's it's uh, it's getting all. Um, and plus, don't forget too, there's fire too in it. You know, we are yeah. fire, right? And that's that's what you feel right now is that burning part of it all. You know, that's that that that's that all that all that stuff that's nasty. Okay, right. all that stuff that's no good for you. It's like an right? incinerator. That, Just put all yes. that stuff in here. We're cooking it up, and we're yeah, you know. yeah, it's gone. You know, yeah. and it, you know, and then and what happens with, with fire? Yes, fire transmutes. And that's where you, that's when you see uh, uh, golden energy, mm. right? You know, sure it was dark, and also when you transmute it, it turns into gold yeah, because you know what? It, We're all alchemists. That's a, what that's what alchemy is. Mhm, mhm. And it softens up. Yes, it does. It's you know, then you, you then you feel calmer. You know, you feel more relaxed. You know, when well, your shoulders drop down. Yes. <laughs> like, hey, I have a neck again, you know. <laughs> you can talking breathe. About it, you know? all, do- all doing it. We're all, everyone listening is doing it. So it's, I just. Yeah, see- yeah you see that too. Yeah. I know, because you are a very beautiful seer, you know. <laughs> I, I love how you, I love how you see. And that's, uh, you know, and, you know, and that, that's what I promote. Okay. I promote the heart. I promote healing. Um, I do have, uh, you know, you can find me on Facebook. You know, yeah. I'm your friend on Facebook, uh, yeah. Jean Paul Baptiste, and and spell that Jean Paul. Uh, J E A N Paul, as in P A U L, Baptiste B A P T I S T. Oh no, E with an E. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, yes, E. That, that's what okay. I said. So B A P is in Paul, T is in Tom, I S is in Sam, T is in Tom, E. Jean Paul Baptiste. All yes. right. Yes. All right. So Wally's looking pretty good. I'm feeling really good because I had a lot of crap in the back of my heart that I didn't really know was there, you know, and so I I always clean the front, but I forget about the back sometimes, you know, and so I'm it's I'm feeling a lot better. So it's, uh, you know, it feels really soft and 
and um it seems to be, it seems, you know, what's weird. It seems like the vibrating is uh, more calm and that the blood flow, all of that um, constriction also, uh, the flow is much softer and much gentler. It doesn't have to struggle the blood to get to the heart. It softens the yes, heart. Yes, there's, there's, so, there's so many benefits to it. And, you know, too, and it, it's heart medicine. So, yes, once you have it, you know, we, we talked about this before, we, you mm-hmm. can Give it to somebody, right. you know, or just, you know, uh, yeah, you can, you know, just stand there and it will just jump off somebody. Yeah. You know? you know, it's almost like you can and make that symbol, you know, like make a symbol of the heart and you're standing there. You can take that symbol on your and put it on your hand chakra and then just place that onto their heart. And it, you know, it goes right in and, yeah. and, it and inserts. clears it. And inserts. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know. And it's, yeah. And it's very. Very, you know, very um, user friendly as yeah. well, and you, yeah. you, see, you see that too, right? Yeah, you can yeah. just throw it in. Doesn't matter if, who, if it's guy, a girl, a woman, a baby, a dog, cat, yeah. any of that. Yes, yes, yes. you know, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So you know, that's what I do, and that's what I what I bring. But you know what though, it's it's old, it's the old stuff that's coming back, you know, and that's the heart. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I always say that the Egyptians threw out the the brain and kept the heart you know in their canopic jars <laughs> yeah they, they they pulled it out through the nose they claim. yes they go hey <laughs> we don't need this <laughs> it's Get all about the heart of- baby it's all about the heart <laughs> you know that is so very true because so many people think with their mind their ego and you know i'm a giver you are. and you know i would give my shirt off to my back in nine degree weather and yeah. sometimes that's where I cut myself short is sometimes I give too much, but I don't believe I give too much. No, it's about um, receiving. It's your turn to receive, Wally. All that that's, love that you've been giving all those years and all those lifetimes, now is your turn to receive all that love. Just receive it, it, all that prosperity, all that abundance. Everybody wants to give to you. When someone wants to give to you, your answer is yes, thank you. They want to give you a, uh, I had someone give me a car. I said, thank you. Uh-huh. You know, Okay. So, I mean, you can, whatever it is you need, it can come to you. It really can. I see it can come to you. Not everybody, but <laughs> some of them have some more work to do, but I'm just kidding, but not really, but, <laughs> but you, I see it's your time, especially this year, 2018 is going to be yes. really phenomenal. I feel you. I feel it. I mean, it's just, it's just, I have, I have worked so hard in, in helping and, you know, there's just some people, like I said, you can lead a horse to water, but Mm -hmm. there's no amount that you can, that they're they're not willing to receive. Right. Right. So don't give it, you know, what is it? Pearls before swine. Don't do it. Exactly. Keep it for yourself. Jean-Paul, did you want to end that? Did we, I interrupt you. Do you want to end the healing? Is there anything you want to make an ending to it? I see that. Oh, um, just thank you you very much. You don't go healing him for the rest of your life, you know. Oh, you know what? Uh, That's the thing about that. You know, I trust my heart. Okay. Because it could have, because once it stops, it stops. Okay, good. That's good for people to hear. Because some people think you have to, you know, do something to, to end it. No, I, not not me. Like you know, how I do it though too. Um, what I do is that I I, I, I make sure that I don't get up. <laughs> so I sit down and I just you know, and my heart tells me you know it's yeah. done. Then, then I get okay. up. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. I like to do it's is the, I take that's just my the, hands the up. Old way of doing it, or that's just how I do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone finds their way in it. Uh, how I do is I take my hands. We were ta- I was taught by a, a wonderful man, Emil Canning, and we take the person and we lift them up to spirit and we see uh like wally um standing you know, like the bright golden star that he is that golden sun all around him where he's he's prosperous and he's happy. cutting out can't oh. hear anybody okay can you hear me now how about now wally i can hear you yet okay great but it's i think right. we lost i think we lost john paul though no i think john paul are you there yeah. john paul yeah, I should show him here still. Oh, well, maybe we did. Maybe there's something wrong with his mic. Yeah, maybe it's a mute. But, but it, the whole time. No, that, it's, that, it's oh. here. 
Yeah, there he is. I'm, okay. I'm back. No, it's just uh, this the connection. We can't get so, rid of him that easy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> so I just offer you up, Wally, to this great spirit. See so you a bright shining like a golden sun that you are. And then I clap and just release you to spirit. And then that tells me that the healing is complete. That's how everyone finds a way. That's how I do it. So so I like your way, Jean-Paul, sit and just sit in the energy and then you'll feel the energy shift and then you go, boom, done. Yep. That's that's I, I get that a lot. Um, a yeah. lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And Thank so <laughs> go ahead, Wally. Thank you so very much. I mean, I've felt all of this energy and Jean-Paul I, and Barbara, <laughs> I, this is, you know, the first reading of the new year. Yeah. I, and I'm not, there's no ego here. There's nothing, he, you know, here. Um, but this is is a one, the, one of the most wonderful readings I've ever had. And you have to be proud of the first one. And I am so <laughs> e e enlightened because John Paul was also here. I mean, mm -hmm. I've heard the name before. I've heard your name before. And I don't know where I've heard it before. Um, but I, I feel honored. Thank you. Oh, Thank you welcome. from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Which is big. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Our pleasure. It's my pleasure You're to so serve. Welcome. Thank you. Oh. And so um, with the next step, Wally, can you tell, just tell people about your product briefly and how they oh. can reach you? Because you have oh. a wonderful product. And I'm it, out. I need to reorder. So <laughs> please so on ahead. Skype. In fact, when you when you come on to Skype, uh, when you get a, a copy of the show or the recording, could you please send okay. me a copy so I can I get it? You sure. get it to my mother. Yes. She would love. I should have called her to have her listen, um, because this would have just enlightened her to hear this. But um, I have a friend of mine in uh, just a little bit south of me here. Uh, he makes a product with colloidal silver in it. Mm -hmm. We make uh, the the liquid cloud silver, which is 10 parts per million per million. And we get a test at two universities for the content and the nano size. And uh, we also infuse the collateral silver in laundry soap, bar soap, shampoo, facial bar wow. uh, and healing and lotion. Excuse me. I got to be careful. I'm not a doctor. I can't say it's any healing. Uh, it's a lotion that sure uh, mother, <laughs> uh, mother, um, mother had to mother had toe fungus. She went to the doctor. The doctor gave her this this ointment. Very expensive. You can only be on it for three months. It'll kill you if you're on it longer. Uh, she used the colloidal silver liquid and the lotion, and her toe fungus was gone in two weeks. Wow! Uh, I That's also cool. In the lotion, I take, uh, we use email, we use all the best essential oils. It sells for about $3 an ounce. I like to sell it in the six ounce because that's the biggest tube that we have. And uh, it sells for $19 um, for the six ounce tube. But I also, in the, in the lotion, I take the email oil out, which we use email oil for pain. I take that out and I add neem oil. And that Ooh. is a bug repellent in mm -hmm. all natural essential oils. Um, there are no fillers. We're not out to make a profit on it. It's very expensive to make this product. We, we have it out as uh, our 16 ounce bottle of Clyde Silver is $25. Yeah. Um, My friend we, Jan Newell, who's listening, loves it, swears by it. And uh, I know she, she needs to know where to get it. From well, she, okay. So she asked me when I saw her. So you can go oh, to, I don't, I, guy. <laughs> I don't have a pay page yet because I'm building this business and it's cause I'm giving out a lot of samples where a lot of my profits are going. I need to get a pay page on my website, but my website is wallylad.com. W A L L Y L A D D. And that is my true name. Mm -hmm. dot com okay that's, that's w a l l y l a d d dot com and my phone number which i really you you can email me 
um, and I will get the order out, but I would really like to talk to you. My phone number is on the website. Fantastic. Uh, because I like to talk to people about the yeah. product. They can yeah. tell me some of the issues they're having. Um, is, you know, if people are on antibiotics, that's mm -hmm. great. I mean, mm -hmm. we don't like the pharmaceuticals, but what the colloidal silver does is it helps rebuild quickly mm -hmm. the antibodies that the, because when you take antibiotics, both it kills all of the antibodies, the good and the bad. So you're very susceptible, but with the colloidal silver, it helps uh, rebuild the good ones that you need to fight okay. off problem so when you, if you're taking medication it enhances the medication wonderful so, well thank you for that because it's a wonderful product i totally endorse it a hundred percent so go to wallylad.com and make your order and give him a call and talk colloidal silver the colloidal first silver the first time I heard about it from was from I when I owned the Integratron back in early 2000 in Landers, California, and it's a historical uh, place there. Um, and uh, we had a German, a, a guy from Germany come, and he was a scientist, and he was like a weird wild mad scientist kind of a dude right <laughs> and so i had never heard of co colloidal silver but the way he said i can still hear him saying colloidal silva <laughs> and so i had never heard it. And he gave me a bottle and we worked you know, he showed me how to work with it and stuff. And so I used it for a while with him. But whenever you say that, it cracks him up because I see this, you know, image of him. It's colloidal silver, Barbara. Col so. <laughs> colloidal silver, yes. And the, and using um, the colloidal, colloidal silver with a nebulizer, that puts it into the bloodstream much quicker. So like uh -huh. with toe fungus, having a nebulizer, I have nasal misters, which is, which is good. Uh -huh. Um you can put it under your tongue, um, but the nebulizer is the best. And uh, what I, I I suck on, I put I use a mask instead of the mouthpiece for nebulizer. I use a mask, and uh -huh. I'll just sit and breathe it when I'm sitting here on the computer. If I start feeling the cold or the flu, it it takes it it does not last as long. Even and sometimes it just you just don't get it when you start Fantastic. feeling that tickle. Yeah. Um, and people, one other thing I want to mm -hmm. pick in here real quick. I know we're getting mm -hmm. close. We are. Is that you will not turn blue from our colloidal silver. I was just going to ask you that. No. Now, <laughs> Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, and he's been on TV. Yes. Uh, he has since I've passed seen away. Him. Oh, yes, he, he has. has. He has oh. passed away, but he did not pass away from being blue. He passed wow. away from natural causes. But what what he had done is in the process of making colloidal silver <laughs> is you have to have pure water any minerals in it it that's what happens that's how he turned blue he used uh -huh. his well water or spring water which had minerals in it i see and that's what turned him blue so you have to have uh -huh. pure distilled water in fact we distill our water three times we buy distilled water and we distill it three more times even after that to make sure that our that our uh, there are n there is nothing but water in it we're coming uh -huh. up with it. we're doing a new process we'll possibly get to we're, we think we're right now we just need to get it tested i've been using it we're at 40 parts per million nano size so, so and well, I just, it's, it's I just your year it, it's your I'm, year, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm working at it. Uh, I just made uh, four units um, in order to make this because um, there's certain particles we couldn't get out. We couldn't figure out where we're, where they were coming from. But now we know, and these units that I made, they were kind of expensive to make. Um, but now we're not capturing any particles from the atmosphere. And I'm not going to go any farther than saying that. Thank you. you know, Thank you. Jean, John Paul, Jean Paul, thank you so very much. The love from the from the bottom of my heart, throughout my heart, goes out to both of you. Oh, thank, thank you, so, you so very much. much. My pleasure. I'm honored to to. It's what I do. It's my thing. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know, Barbara. Both of you, Barbaras. Even Barbara DeLong. I mean, yeah, I love Barbara both DeLong of you. for sure. For sure. Yes. Well, yes. I'm gonna, uh, 
thank you for both being on the show today for Jean Paul Baptiste coming and and spreading your love and your wisdom with us today and and uh, we will ha- I'll get your recording of this too Jean Paul don't worry and um, I and thank you Wally it's just been a uh, I've enjoyed the show I hope everyone else has and I do want to tell you that um, on I do have uh, Lauren Kurth coming next week uh, next Friday about our UFO ET experiences you'll find her a fascinating speaker and talk about a heart she has a big heart and a lot of dedication to helping humanity and then I have uh, on March 16th I just want to kind of put it out there um, that uh, we have uh, Tolek and Adana from Star Ancestry and author Reverend John Polk and myself and a surprise guest. And we will have an in-depth conversation about the coming likely collapse, possible collapse of the existing um, fiat, the debt-based, the fractional reserve global banking system uh, for years and explicitly supported by the debt-based petrodollar, Federal Reserve U.S. dollar. It seems it's about to fall. We're going to be talking about this and what all this is and its ramifications on many levels and it will be discussed by all of us. So it's a conversation you'll want to talk about. I didn't know what Bitcoin was. I didn't know anything about it. I'm learning. I'm trying to learn as much as I can um, about all these. It's just a whole new paradigm of of prosperity and an exchange of energy, you know, for instead of the dollar. So we're going to talk about it. So I myself, I'm usually a right brain person. So uh, but I think it's so important and we're on like the pulse of the planet that I thought was really important that we talk about this. And so um, you'll love Tolek, um, his uh, he's from uh, an ambassador from the Andromeda Council, but also I, I I don't have it in front of me right now, but his uh, resume of his banking stats are very impressive. So he's like he's if I'm going to have someone come on the show and talk about this sort of thing, I want the best, and I think you know he might be it. So um, he'll be talking about that as he was. Uh, Managing Director and Chief Operating Officer of a global alternative Radio, private asset management firm that right um, was valued at $117 billion. So I think he might know what he's talking about. And, uh, and, and he's a managing director. Thank you for listening to Revolution Radio at FreedomSlips.com. Any commercial advertising you may hear in this program is of the sole discretion and benefit of the host of whose program you are listening to. Revolution Radio does not endorse any commercial products, nor does it accept a monetary compensation for on-air advertising of commercial products, nor will it ever. We are and shall remain 100% listener-supported. Any product advertising on this program are considered used at higher risk, and Revolution Radio shall not be held liable for any claims or damages received from any product advertised within this program. Revolution Radio, where information never sleeps. Most guys freeze. That's your cerebral cortex looking for an answer it doesn't have. See? Even your brain knows you're screwed. Oh, I'm trying to... God, he's feeling right. Yeah, I have to hang everybody up. So here we go. The heart's okay. getting fast. It's getting a little out of the brain. No, it's not The neurobiological system is telling it to run. But your knees are too weak to move. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. You're listening to Revolution Radio at freedomslips.com. 100% listener supported radio. Reporting to danger. Unafraid. Right here, where information never sleeps. 
Revolution. Revolution. Radio. Take a look around, kid. What do you see? Homes being foreclosed. People working two, three jobs just to put food on the table and still drowning in debt. Don't get me wrong. This country is founded on great ideals and principles. They've all been ruined by the banks. Open your eyes to the banks that are robbing you. You know who my favorite president was? Who? Thomas Jefferson. Because he saw all of this coming and tried to stop it. He fought the banks. JFK too, and they killed him for it. The banking institution is more dangerous than an army, he said. 